What's up guys? It is the Pop on Dad here with the gentleman from Broom. What's up? Hey! Boom. Yeah, I know it's weird like talking to like nobody. Yeah, but, but that's what it's the phone. Hi phone. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi phone and yeah, iPhone. Um so first up, uh you guys just played here at Rhythm House Studios. It was a, an amazing set. Um how long have you guys been together? Uh we've been together for about we started in fall of twenty twenty. That's when we all really got going. I think Carter was the late the last one we added, right? Yeah. No, you were. No, Tell him no, what I was. was. Yeah, tell uh, and that was like end of 2020, I think. Or early 2021. Yeah, it was like February. It was yeah, February. Something like that. So yeah. we, we, did, we haven't started playing out until like this year, really. It was when we started consistently COVID playing out. COVID probably was terrible for you guys. Well, we started, like, so we started the fall of 2020. So it was after COVID. Okay. Was really, started. so yeah. we, we played one show early 2021, and we barely played anything until this summer. So we, we, when was our first show? Like April? I think April, April was our first. It was like April 30th. Yeah. Like that, 19th only in Uniontown. Yeah, so oh, we uh, all that. so that this year is really how long we've been playing now. But we've been we've we've all known each other for a long time, except Carter. I didn't know him until he joined the band. Did you guys all go to school together? Yeah. yeah. So all yeah. of us went to school together. He got there after I graduated. Yeah. Um, and he, I never went to high school. I was too young. I was too young to be in high school with them. Yeah, he's yeah. still in high school. A lot of us, or all of us, are like, college age. Well, Car yeah, Carter's high school, uh, but the rest of us are all college age. How do you know this guy then? Race? Yeah, Race. from me. I know yeah. Race. Yeah. I was gonna say I, I know Carter. Bodie, yeah. I know Talon. And I like half knew Caleb. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know him yeah. like at all. We were just... marching band together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This guy became a scout. I had I had his dad math in sixth grade. Uh, oh wow! But then, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> How'd you guys come up with a band name? Okay, so <laughs> funny funny enough, enough, Black Carter. Black Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we decided that we needed a name, and everybody's names were horrible. Really, really cringy. <laughs> I think Mount Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Mount, yeah. Mount, yeah. Mount Phoenix. Mount Phoenix. Yeah. Mount Phoenix. Yeah. Midnight, Midnight Moonshot. Yeah, yeah those, those, those are some like original. Like, I was gonna ask what was some failed ones. Were. Like real, yeah. real edgy. Uh, we had Mountain Your Mom for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, then, and then we were at practice, and it was like the third practice. We were fighting about names. And I think this time, like and that I was day, like, we were trying to record too for a live stream. Yeah, yeah. So and I was like twirling a broom. And we were just like. Broom. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you literally just pointed at Broom on one. Broom! I was like, that's our name. <laughs> and then it just caught, we caught him from there. And now there's a, there's a bunch of puns and, like, catchphrases <laughs> yeah. that work with Broom unintentionally oh, that we God. didn't think of. Like, like uh, someone wrote an article about us saying we were sweeping the Pittsburgh area. I read that one. Yeah, I mean, like... Bob Bob put on Facebook today that we were coming to clean up Rhythm House. Yeah, like it just it's just yeah. random stuff. It, it fits real well with like uh like Tom was joking and... the dustpan was gonna open for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah like like the mop. 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 Like mop. It, uh, there's a lot the of emoji. <laughs> yeah, we have yeah. we haven't built an emoji because there's a broom cool. emoji, yeah. so we can like there's a lot of something so simple and so stupid yet so effective. It, it's it seems like the typical rock punk name like yeah, you like guys Kiss. like Kiss. The, uh, Dexter Holland from the Offspring said it was a name that we didn't hate. Yeah, we yeah. still don't hate it. It's terrible, but we don't hate it. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a stupid name, but we're all stupid people. Yeah, <laughs> and it's that's easy. Fair it's, point. it's one syllable. Yeah, it's very easy to remember. It's yeah. the beginning of the dictionary. Keep, keep it simple, stupid. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, when you guys write, uh, who who does all the writing, or is it just like a collaborative? So what, be collaborative. One of us comes up with something, okay, and then we build off that. So like, uh, I don't know what's a good Devil. example. Devil. Devil. Okay, Devil. so the. We did a song we didn't play today that we have. It's called If I Were the Devil. And the way we came up with that was my cell phone was sitting on top of my amp, and it was picking up radio signal. And it was going... Yeah. So we came up with a song just around that rhythm. Yeah. That's cool. Now, then we decided, after we came up with like the rhythm and the melodies, we decided to base it off of Paul Harvey's 1965 speech, If I Were the Devil. Yeah. Um, not too proud of like the re recording quality. I mean, it is on Spotify, and yeah. stuff like that. Which any any support for it, the band helps, obviously. It, it'll be released in much better form. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be re-released. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, as all, time goes on. All this like another another song we did tonight. Hour glass. Bodie and I were sitting in the in the shop one day. Uh, it was we had just had two acoustic guitars, and we just kind of just came up with the like the music of this of the song. Yeah, and right. then Talon came, and he we figured out the the vocal melodies, and then the next practice. He drummed and we just figured everything out. I remember actually the first time we, the first time that Caleb played it was here last time we played. 
Uh, so we just, do you remember that? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah so learned it on stage. That's like the, the song we played tonight for the first time, Race had never heard until we yeah. were on Yeah, because he couldn't make it to practice when he wrote it. So it's a lot of just like, since we all have full-time, or close to full-time jobs, it's or, or commitments, like, so, yeah. like it's it's just a matter of like patchwork, but we're pretty proud of what we've done in a, in a uh, in that kind of environment, you know? It's, it sounds great so far. I also yeah. love the covers that you guys had in yeah. there. For a lot of people, they're like, I don't want to listen to a band. They're originals all night long. Yeah. So we've been in there. We all, I've been in bands, too. We throw covers in. Yeah. Uh, how'd you guys pick covers? And it was just, like, collaborative effort. You guys, yeah. like, each pick one. Collaborative We argument. all just basically, like, one, one day we're just like, all right, got to think of covers. And everyone just threw a song down. Because we all like different genres right. of rock. So it was just like... We figured, all right, you can do something with this, make a variety, make it our own, and yeah, yeah. get it going. Like, it, like a lot of us, like some of us like the Beatles. I mean, me personally, like I'm huge into like metal. Like I'm real big into like Periphery, like those sorts of bands and stuff like that. Like I mean, him and I are both into like '80s rock. Like he's into Beatles, like that kind of genre. You're into '90s rock. Yeah, and so are you. Yeah, and you're in like '70s, like Southern rock too. So like we we have a little bit of everything. Like then um, we have some more stuff that we're planning on doing too. So. We're, we're probably, like, whenever we play live, usually, we're probably about 70, 30 covers to originals, I'd say. Uh, maybe 60, 40. But we try to do enough covers to keep the audience engaged, but also enough that, enough of our originals that we're plugging our own stuff. I like how you switch it up in the set list. Like, it's not uh, entirely just covers yeah. for a hot minute and then originals for a hot minute. Yeah. you got to mix it up, and it's, it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, we try to um, keep it, keep the set engaging. You don't the, A lot of bands these days don't really... Not to... This is going to sound like a bashing band, I'm not, but... A lot of them don't think of the audience when they're like when they're they're just kind of doing their what they think's best. Right. You got to make sure the audience is engaged the whole way through, or else the while you're up there is pointless. I mean, it took us a little while to yeah. get. Yeah. Like, like when when we do sing-alongs like Sweet Home Alabama and Friends in Low Places, we didn't like we didn't say it practice. Oh, everybody's gonna sing along. Like yeah. it's a learning. Process. Rising yes. on the yeah. thing. This is where yeah. people sing. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's it, and those songs. I'm not even. I'm not a fan of those songs. But there are ways to get the Engaging. crowd the crowd engaged. Yeah. So you have to there's a balance there. You don't want to play totally stuff that only you like. If if that was the case, you'd be playing Maiden and Periphery all day. Yeah. But that's <laughs> I, not, do, I do have a seven string. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not the kind of stuff we wanna uh, that's not the kind of stuff we wanna solely play, right? So does any of that stuff, the the heavier metal stuff, or even like the oldies Beatles stuff, does that stuff kind of come out in your guys' own personal rate? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think for sure. Yeah, yeah, like whenever we do, uh, he'll add stuff that's common in metal music. Yeah, I, I, I like stuff. to harmonize and that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll do stuff that's real like '80s sounding. Like the beginning of Hourglass, I think is pretty '80s. Da, 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 I try da. to I try to balance it all yeah. depending on the riff. What I yeah, play. and our singers obviously they're not screamo guys. We're, they're not real like I am. <laughs> <laughs> but you, so their their kind of sound melds in, and then you 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 don't you write stuff that's pretty like mellow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he he fits yeah. in behind everything, but he he sets everything. He plays yeah. bass. If you know what I mean. Um, but you, can, wow. you, know, you can tell by looking at him. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the way the way we write, we all have our own tendencies, like with what we like. But I would say it all feeds into each other pretty well. Yeah. You guys have been together for a couple of years now, ish. Uh, any career highlights so far? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Switch! Wait, 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 we'll get there. You'll get oh. that. So, oh. so we won last, was it this Sunday? This past yeah, Sunday? Yeah, yeah, Sunday. Sunday. We, at Brandy's Basement, we won uh, the first round of Spark Battle with the bands. So, yeah, yeah that was pretty, that was pretty well done, and we're excited for the finals, which is September 17th yeah. at Black Forge 2. Uh, Black Forge Coffee. So if you want to, oh, be the McKees Rocks. Yeah, they I, might. The location might be moved. He, the guy told me it might be moved. But follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, follow Broom and Spark Battle with Bands. Yeah, those events on Facebook. And yeah, keep I'll up with all everything. that and, and, stuff. Yep, down yeah. there. Yep. And if you're listening, I mean, we greatly appreciate the support. If yeah. you want to turn up, I mean, hey, yeah, just it's fan voted. Broom. It's audience voted. So yeah, yeah, I, I would say especially like for only being around for a couple years and and. The amount of effort that we're putting into it, it, it was very nice to finish. To, to say out of out of twenty four bands, those three judges gave us the points. I like think we was, got nine hundred forty nine out of a thousand. Points. It was nine forty nine. It was, yeah. Yeah. It, was a, it was a very rewarding That's, most. Yeah. So we, we're looking forward to it. And some of those bands were together for like thirty years. Not and to mention, you guys started basically in the you know dead center of COVID. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I think all did all of us have COVID. No. Yeah. Yeah. I know we did. Did you I have it? I, 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 I still wore hat. I'm the only one who did it. No, Caleb didn't have it. I did. Oh, you, you had it? it? Okay, yeah. so 
That's we all two had thirds, it at different times. I think I did. I tell in 2019, I went to the hospital, and when they came back, everything was zero, and it yeah. came back unknown pathogen. Yeah, so, so I'm probably all. fucking patient zero. My, 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 <laughs> sister, my sister got it in September of 19. Patient zero. Yeah. So that's probably when it, like, yeah. yeah. It was November for me. Yeah. November 19. We're, Where do you guys officially like to call yourself from? Bell Vernon. Bell Vernon. Yeah. We, all, we all went to Bell Vernon area high yeah. school. So. Cool. Yeah. Speaking of shows and all that other stuff, what is the weirdest thing that's happened to you guys so far as a band at a show? Like, <laughs> weird shit that, that happens. I, I think we have... Yeah. 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 yeah! yeah! That was at Black Forge, right? Yeah, that yeah. was Black Forge. Happened? We were playing Mary Jane's last... That's a Tom Petty song, if you don't know. Uh, and uh, they, for some reason, I won't ever, I won't, I won't understand why. It's like a relatively mellow song. We we, it is. we yeah. play it kind of oh, up, yeah. up more up, but it's still like a like da 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 da. da. We so had a mosh. We had a going. mosh. Yeah, that, that coffee what shop. What made it even better is the band after us was a band who played songs for moshing. Like drop D. No one moshed. No one moshed. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Because we went from Mary Jane into Sweet Home Alabama, and they were yeah. moshing during both songs. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'll never understand. At Black Forge. Yeah. yeah. Sweet yeah. Home Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they want to beat the shit out of each other during that song. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get. I'll never. Yeah, Alabama. Yeah. Your China symbols during Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah. God. Shh, it was just that. Bring Sweet it right Home Alabama. That was probably. Alabama. That's probably the weirdest thing that's happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, another weird thing that this isn't really weird, but it's just funny. It was our first experience of someone recognizing us. It's crazy, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. It, 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 does, it almost feels like unreal. Oh, the one with you or a pizza? That was pizza. I was going to say pizza. pizza. We ordered pizza, pizza a, a few weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah it was like, two yeah, weeks ago. And the guy pull, pulls up. He's like, you guys brew? <laughs> we were like, I was, like, yeah, I was, I was literally giving him a tip. He was like, "Are you guys brew?" I was, I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Yeah, we saw you last week, and like this, like this show." Yeah. Sure. I was like, "Oh man, that's nice." Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just it's kind of cool. wild. Like you don't, it, not that we're big, but like it's cool when people know who we are. Yeah. Like people know me as the pop punk dad. So yeah. That's my moniker. Yeah. But it's weird when someone's just like, "Hey, daddy." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm like, "All right." People talk. People say that. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Yeah, people yeah, talk right. to us as a hip rumor. Yeah. Oh, no, they don't say that. Never mind. Okay, bro. No, let, yeah. let's not. Yeah, let's not. Let's not start. Okay, Broomer. Okay, Broomer. Listen, let's, let's, let's kill that right now. Let's kill that right now. Um, so you guys, you guys are getting. Uh, I mean, you have you have a crazy audience here. You guys are writing songs. Um, uh, if you guys could play a show with any artist, if you can build a show with any four bands in yourself. Oh, like, Jesus Christ. Well, we're going to stop. We'll go with McCartney. Opens. Yeah, yeah. Paul McCartney. He's known to be a fan of us. So yeah. Okay. Can we can we say six? Each of us get a band. That's yeah. fine. Okay, because we're not going to be able to agree on four. Everyone, Wait, is it a band that we play with? Like, we're going to play, no, play, play like a festival with. Play, play a festival? So oh. tell when you start. We'll get online. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about that. Uh, All right, Caleb, go. Falf Peck. Falf Peck? Yeah. Okay. That's, with, that's with Corey Wong, right? Yeah, Corey yeah, Wong. Yeah. Joe Dart. Yeah. 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 All right, Caleb, uh, Talon? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to go with Bowling for Soup. Bowling for Soup? Yeah. Pretty cool. Because yeah. I know sometimes they have the openers do like uh, High School Never Ends. That's a good song. They came on did Ohio. They finished Ohio last night. Ohio, too? Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. I know what you're gonna say. Yeah. Say it. For a free? Nope. Who? Free. Foo Fighters. Oh, I should have uh, known that. Was that was a good one. Listen, wait, Dave, if you're watching, get us <laughs> up, man. Yeah. Taylor Hawkins. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. I think everyone knows what I'm gonna say. Oh, kiss. No, yeah, no, kiss. No, yeah. Kiss. Yeah. Kiss. Yeah. Kiss. That's why I play guitar. So Ace Freely. All, right. All my favorite bands have dead members. So. Wait, are we, are we doing like, like Carter's going to be like, all my bands are dead. Alive. Okay, alive. Carter's going to be like, you know, you I'm going to find the one band game. with a dead drummer so I can drum for them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would <laughs> probably have to say the Stones. I, I, I went to see them a couple months ago and they, so lucky. they blew me away for how old they were. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting to yeah. see what they, they, they put Grace. on a good show. Yeah, I'd probably have to go with some 41. I know they're not like the biggest band, but. This is when you like Sum 41. I love Sum 41. I love Sum 41, bro. Yeah. (laughs) We always make fun of him for liking Sabbath. I thought that's what he would have said. No. I like Sabbath, but it's funny because Race likes him. Anyway. (laughs) If you guys can do that, this is kind of the the same question, but kind of a different part of the question. So you guys are going to be recording. You said you're going to be recording some of your stuff. If you guys can collab with anybody. I mean, we can do oh, one man. for each of that, too. Oh, Green shit. Collab. Are you talking, like, person? <laughs> yeah, yeah, or yeah. Yeah. Person or band? I mean, like, I know Event Sevenfold just did something with, like, no effects. Like, they played on one of their no, no effects songs. Okay. Yeah. Which was wild. Can I, say, can I say a dead person? I guess, yeah. Steve Ray Vaughan. Oh, yeah. That would? That would, that would, that would that's a good choice. I would have him play on one of our songs. Like, he's my one of my favorite. Hit. Him, Adrian Smith, and Ace Freely are my three favorite guitar players ever, so... Things. You can John say, May. Yeah. Yeah, John Mayer. Yeah, John Mayer. We need to have like the, the whiteboards. You have to guess what yeah. everyone else is saying. Talon? 
Oh, that's tough. Um, All right, buddy. I can't decide, so I'm, I would say either Misha Mansour or Mark Holcomb okay. of Periphery. I have Mark Holcomb's signature guitar, and that's what I usually play. And the string breaks on it every single time. That is entirely my fault. It is a wonderful guitar. <laughs> Not Paul Reed Smith's fault. So. No offense to you or you, but I have to say Hammy. Sammy Hagar. Yeah. Is, uh, Van Halen's probably my favorite band of all time. Did you get to see them before his passing? I did not. Twice. Uh, They're amazing. Uh, but it, it was it was Van Hagar. It wasn't yeah. uh, with Roth. I don't like David D. Roth. I uh, like Hagar a lot more. But it was the other guys in the band. Um, Wolfgang wasn't playing. I saw him. I saw him live. They opened yeah. for Guns N' Roses at a show I saw. Michael Anthony was still playing in the band. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jack Daniels bass, and he was. Yeah. I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm an AA, and he was drinking Jack. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Right. Talent? Shit, I don't know. All right, race. I gotta go with Green Day. Green Day? I, yeah, I think that'd I mean, be that's, a cool band to collab. That would be cool. Yeah. I was gonna think that, but then I realized, you know, I would think probably Blink One Eighty Two. Not gonna lie, old old Blink One Eighty Two. We're talking like Enema of the State, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, even self-titled era. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then lastly, uh, what's up next with you guys? What's going on? <sighs> we have we're starting to slow down actually after the show. Um, we had a lot of shows this summer. Oh, let's once, see. once we get the films, we're, we're ripping out the calendar. Ripping out the um, calendar. We have uh, I think we have at least a sh one show a month. Go, go, so the... on August we have it. On August. On oh, August. Yes. The In entire August. month of August. Okay. <laughs> Chill. All right. August 20th, we have, we're down at the Hungarian Club in Bell Vernon, playing there around 7. Uh, let's see. September 17th, September we have two shows. 17th, we have, we have two? Yeah, we have the, the one for the, We've um, actually done it before. Not yeah, the White Oak, the White yeah, Oak Athletic yeah. Association that we had the Battle of the Bands. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. And then that's we have, we're off in November, and then we have, um, October, we have two, sh again, two shows in a day. Right, so uh, on the 29th, we're playing... A Halloween show at the 19th hole, and we're playing for Witch Fest on Aquatorium. Yeah. And then on Gehala. We opened up for Common Heart uh, two weeks ago. But yeah, and then December we have a benefit we're playing. So we're, we're starting to slow down, but we're trying to... The, one of the one of the prizes for Battle of the Bands, if you win, you get to have a full album recorded and mixed and stuff. That's so okay. that's that's what we're working on. And if we get, if we end up not winning that, we're going to try to record our own stuff. I was just going to yeah. ask if you guys have any plans to hop in the studio, but... Um, we, we like to do the recording on our own. Bodie's pretty good at mixing and mastering stuff. Yeah, sort of. But if, <laughs> so, if we can land free time, we're going to use it. So, Logic yeah. Pro Tools? Uh, uses Reaper. Reaper. I use Reaper. Logic. Yeah. I use Reaper. Reaper. Logic. Everybody's yeah. telling me to use Reaper. I love Logic. Logic's Pro. better. Yeah, Logic thanks. Pen, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like Reaper a lot. It, I mean, yeah. very easy on the computer. A yeah. little hard on the eyes, though, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Reason is like that for me. Reasons. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. like, it's bare bones, but, like, for me, I mean, my, my laptop's a piece of crap. So, yeah, like I, I, I just go whatever's like the lightest on resources. It, it the, the stock effects are pretty good. You don't have to dump up a ton of money into it. I mean, it's, overall, it's a great deal. And for what I need, if like say Pro Tools has like slightly better plugins or something like that, I can't like justify the price difference. You know, like sixty bucks is fine for me. Logics is a rave out up there, and I pirated most of it anyway, so I don't want everybody else to say anything. But this has been the Pop Punk Dad with the guys from Broom. I'll link all their stuff below. Yeah. Uh, great talking to you guys. You too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having us. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Team Sweet Ben! <laughs>